Hey guys, um, this video is just going to be about me showing um, my new game that I made over the past uh, few weeks. Um, I haven't made a video in a while because I've been dealing with school and uh, also as a result of that I haven't made, I haven't worked on any sort of game programming. So this is just like a small project I did to sort of get back in the swing of things. Um, so I'm going to show you some of its functionality and then I'm going to play for you guys. Um, so here I can click and it displays all the resolutions. You can click any of these resolutions and it'll change it. Um, if I click game mechanics it'll sh tell you actually you know a little bit about how to play and stuff. WASD to move the player, shift to move faster, there's 30 seconds per level. When the 30 seconds runs out it'll be displayed at the top left corner. Uh, this wormhole, which is what this looks like, uh, this is what the wormhole is, it'll appear and you actually have to get to it to complete the level. And just the warning of don't stand still. You're not supposed to stand still in this game and I have uh, something that sort of is an, it's an incentive to prevent that from happening. So if you want to see what that is, you'll have to wait. Um, game modes, I have normal and survival. The difference between these are uh, normal is every time you complete a level all your health is restored and in survival mode is not. So we're going to go to start game. We have uh, three ships here. You choose one just by clicking it. And then just more notes about uh, ships regenerate health every two waves. Every five seconds, uh, a wave appears of enemies. These are the, the enemies. And the number of enemies that spawn is determined by the level that you're on. So if you're on level one, every five seconds, one enemy spawns. If you're on level six, every five seconds, six enemies would spawn. So every two waves, however, it doesn't deal with the enemies. It doesn't matter how many enemies. Every two waves, your ship regenerates uh, like a 10 health. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click this one and then play a little bit for you. So, remember not to stand still, and then the objective is basically just to survive until the wormhole appears, which is right here. Um, we're on level 1, wormhole in 18 seconds, 100 out of 100 health because we haven't hit anything, and then also keeps track of the number of enemies. There's also a high score system on the front page. Uh, that keeps track of the highest level you've gotten to in each mode, normal and survival mode, uh, which when you change the normal to survival mode, uh, it changes the stats and the number of the highest number of enemies you've ever had on the screen. Okay, so this is just a mouse over. You click continue or quit to do either of those. So I'm going to click continue. Now level two. Um, I, th I think I'm playing on normal mode, so everything, so if I get hurt, uh, it's all restored. Oh. Okay, so this guy appeared because I wasn't moving around enough. It's not necessarily just standing still, it's staying in the same general area for too long. Now, every time he hits me, he'll say something. He also does twice as much damage as any of the other enemies do. So I should be okay because I'm on a low level, so I'm not having to move around that much, but... So I'm going to go continue. So if I keep moving around, he won't spawn, but... It's a pretty big incentive because when you get to higher levels and there's all these things on the screen, having to like move around quickly makes it much more difficult. So I'll play a few more levels or until I die. Um, I'll intentionally spawn that guy the next level. I'll just stand still. So if I hold shift, I can actually move faster, as you can see. That's holding shift. Okay, so I hit continue. This is normal speed, this is with shift. So, you need, you kind of need them both. It's harder to control when you hold shift, so... Just because it's moving so much faster. Alright, I'm gonna stand still and see if I can survive this whole this whole wave while standing still. Yeah. 
Moving at normal speed though isn't fast enough to get away from him, so you kind of have to hold shift sometimes. Yeah, made it. Okay, this is this will be the last level I do. Um, because I'm just showing you guys the game. So now, since we're on level five, every five seconds, five enemies spawn. <clears throat> So it gets difficult pretty quickly. There, okay. So this is what happens when you fail a level. It says level failed, probably isn't the first time this has happened, so I can restart or quit. I'm going to go ahead and quit, and uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think, and if you want the game, just yeah, let me know. I'll probably have a link to it in uh, the description.